Okay. And another base tour about to begin, guys. Uh, to, for this one, we are with Starshine, and this is Crystal Waters Vale, which is a whole town built with a sort of RPG feel. Um, if you guys are seeing this, it's part of a live stream in which we've already done three other base tours, so links for those will be in the description. It'll probably be episode 19, 20, 21, and this would be episode 22, something like that, depending on how I order them of this series. And uh, we're going to be doing base tours for the next next week at least, and then more to come after that. Um, did you want to introduce us to the place, Star? Tell us about it and kind of the inspiration or... or... Oh, sure. Um, so this is a town that uh, myself and my boyfriend, um, a human being, created. Mm -hmm. uh, we're both really huge on RPGs. I got my inspiration from Elder Scrolls, or uh, more specifically, uh, Skyrim. Right. We've and... all taken inspiration from Skyrim now, I think, for our builds. Yeah. yeah um, so this kind of feel uh, that I have for this play, um, he did the castle which we'll be looking at last, and a few of the buildings around here, and um, I did most of the time, so. Perfect. And um, for those of you guys watching, I plan with the volume a little bit to make sure the person who's doing the base tour is loud enough. I see Furious Monkey in chat saying he was thinking about tagging along. Cora's here, so just teleport over to Crystal Waters Vale if you're on the server, Monkey, and uh, and follow us along. Um, but for now, yeah, we'll let uh, Star lead the way, wherever you want to start. Sure, so we'll start behind us. This is the tavern. Oh, nice. Um, like the paint scheme, it's a little forest green, but the wood is mud? The wood trim? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Um, I, I'm used to doing it the other way around, and I wanted to kind of do something different here. I wanted to do the green as the primary. Um, yeah, as the primary. Um, the tavern is pretty simple. Uh, it comes with their own little, our own little bar keep over here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, and, he works great uh, as that. I've used this guy as different things. It's nice you can put the hat on him because it's sort of like yeah. you can sort of I had him with like a, a you know that miner's helmet once and you know that makes him look <laughs> like he's you know he's doing hard work with this it looks like he's just doing that to keep the sweat off his eyes while he's serving drinks. Absolutely. We have the bedrooms. Uh, we've got two uh, one on either side. So tavern um, and inn. Yeah tavern inn uh, kind of like you would see in Skyrim, they've got the rooms off to the side, and then of course they have the uh, the whole little pub going on, and a little spot for you to get some food. Mm -hmm. um, painted fireplace, if you guys have a look. I don't know if it's all painted. Yeah, a little brown, little brick, maybe? Something like that? Yep. Okay. we got brick and black on the uh, and black. fireplace here, and the candles make an amazing light glow, so don't lay those you'll are, see these throughout uh, the build. Advanced rafts, I think those ones come from? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then this big uh, ro roasted pig is a fiomia <laughs> with an apple in its mouth, little cobs of corn, a little bit of parsley underneath just to clean it up. But uh, but yeah, roasted roasted hog. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've got a complete kitchen back here. Um, we've got a sink uh, if you're thirsty, and we've got a little grill, some uh, ice boxes or refrigeration over here. So. Yep. It is a tavern, to say the least. Beautiful. Uh, hold on a sec. I think there'll be some chat popping up. <laughs> that that voiceover chat. Uh, there's just another super chat. So thank you guys for that. All right. Oh. That one's Jimmy. Just for being you. Um. Oh no. <laughs> oh, what's happened? Somebody hit the J button. Uh oh. Not me. That is un My bad. unbound. I that is an evil button. That was me. My bad. I totally unbinded that button. <laughs> well, uh, I, I just we got I, we got some natural uh, um, I know. I am editing this. Obviously, if you guys did want to take a little break, and and I don't know how important it is that we replace this stuff for the place to look at. Uh, is. yeah. You know what? Let's take a break, and cool. I will put everything up. Beautiful. Let's uh, and we'll give we'll give a hand. And I highly suggest everybody take that off their possibilities of buttons to be pressed. We'll do some re yeah. we'll, we'll do some <laughs> we'll do some rearranging and uh, and be right back to continue the tour of this place, guys. For those of you watching live, we ain't going nowhere. You get to you get to see this. Um, probably let you do do a bunch of it, but if uh, I guess I'll follow you on a horse. I imagine horses all go to the same oh, places. Yeah, we just line them up right here. Beautiful. My bad, guys. All good, brother. It happens. Um, I'm taking that chain call now off. 
<laughs> yeah, I use uh, uh, U, T, and Y. I still have bound. You can't get in too much trouble with any of those. Yeah. J and I guess the period is probably bad, but that one's pretty hard to hit accidentally. There's nothing near I tried, it. I try to put all mine what? on an ignore group whistle. I, you know, yeah, I, most of them are. The um, half of these dinos aren't mine, though. <laughs> <laughs> I should have put them all on it. No. And, and, and it happens, so um, I'm used to putting them on a ignore whistle, but... Well, in this method of, of the way that the way that I'm hoping this will work out, where we do a we do a nice whatever three hour stream, however long it's going to be, two and a half, um, and I split it up into three or four individual videos. Hopefully, it'll work well for the channel, and then you guys will all have your own kind of video if you did want to be able to look back on it in a year or show you know show a friend once the server's not around and go here's what I built. We'll have this little tour of it, right? But um, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. We also have the benefit of in the middle of it, we can just go. I'll edit this part out. Yes, awesome. Um, let me see. Do your wyverns go up on those um, pl cliff platform things? Yes. Yeah, all the flyers go. All right. there. Beautiful. Somebody, somebody, um, somebody doing another uh, super chat. <laughs> I, I I don't know if it was like a. That was a classic gingy mistake. Uh. <laughs> yeah, do the gingy voice. If, if anything, oh, it, it shows not, awareness. <laughs> Cap's not uh, responsible. Wait, do do the gingy voice you said? Well, yeah, that way Cap's right. not responsible. Mm -hmm. It's a gingy's fault. Just say I'm sorry. Gingy's fault, not Cap! There you go. <laughs> to be warned, we actually have a gingy in the group now. And we're in Cap. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> hopefully he doesn't take any offense. Which was it's actually a... kind of funny. We actually had a fun day one day with the, the, all these guys, um, like Cat and uh, Star, painted me to look like exactly like Jinji. Nice. Uh, yeah, you... we all got paint jobs. Uh, he Rob... sounds exactly like Jinji off of Shrek, so it's hilarious. Drake's up here too? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, well, I won't do the perfect placement for now. Uh, there's a great view of the city up there too, by the way, if you want to take a gander. Oh, oh I took my wingsuit off. Okay. <laughs> oh lord, I took it off when we were sitting around uh, around Dunk's fire pit. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't That's worry, right. it won't I'm kill good. you. I'm that. good. I'm good. I didn't. From the I didn't fall that far. I think I got enough uh, there, health now to. There's tech elevators right. too to get you down. If you need. Super chat. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Let me see. How come that's not popping up over here? There it goes. All right. Well, thank you, Fenris. That is very nice of you. And it, <laughs> so the gingy voice is something from Shrek? The gingerbread mm -hmm. man. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. That makes total sense. Yeah. Don't be offended. Actual gingy is watching the stream now. I actually... Oh, actual gingy says it's inspiration for their nickname. There you go. <laughs> nice. Um, actual I, Jinji changed his picture in Discord recently to a picture of him, and it looks exactly like that cartoon version of him that you guys are seeing in the stream chat. It's identical. Uh, I don't know how he did I it. I actually so well. use I use the Jinji voice in RP all the time. So that, that must the, that must be so yeah, fun only, for all the people listening. Uh, oh, I I can get a lot of people going, but the, I think the biggest thing about my Jinji voice is my Jinji is more of a jerk than because my Jinji always yells at the NPCs like um cats uh, nanny. And uh, oh, yeah, he, he, he spent of... a lot of time yelling at that one. <laughs> That's hilarious. I, well, I come from I come from from Lord of the Rings RP server. So um, when I was on Lord of the Rings RP, I played as a goblin, and so the gingy voice was almost perfect for it. Um, <laughs> the, the patron gingy is saying um, he had a button fall off his band uniform and immediately exclaimed, "Not the gumdrop buttons!" <laughs> uh, could somebody go up there and grab my body off the roof? Oh, did you disconnect? No, I, I died. Oh. I jumped down and didn't make it. Oh, no. <laughs> I got Where'd you jump from? I got my head off. Which up little... on the, From up on the platform, I was landing I got the bird up. We found you. You almost you slid off the edge. Button. You're pretty mangled. I appreciate all the help by the way <laughs> yeah, yeah. sorry you died her body kind of looks like it was like hung there for a purpose to scare people off well it's gone uh, yeah, i yeah i forgot you could do it with the teleporter oh good 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 i was about to try and drag it and it, then it just disappeared 
Um, I'll, I'll, uh, we'll restart the tour up from the platform, so I'll do a little... Oh, that was a bad grapple. Why did you grapple to the bottom of it, moron? Yeah, I'm not going up there. I forget that I have, like, 600 HP, so maybe I should have said I don't die when I fall from there. Yeah, good point. I don't like dying. <laughs> I think I think Ned is watching over top, too, so we got a few geeks tuning in by this point, overviewing the thing. Um, yeah, from up here, it looks great. You get a similar... Obviously, they're a different design to uh, Dunk's oh, walls, yeah. but you have a similar layout of walls kind of curving and twisting around the outside of the base. It wasn't you know, super obvious from the, uh, below. Funny story about that, and Dunk did it right. Um, we built the wall first and the castle first, and then we started building the, um, the buildings. And the server has a item uh, structure limit which totally makes sense. You know, we don't want anyone lagging out too hard because someone's got millions of structures right. and we kind of didn't realize that we were hitting it. So we had to do some modifications to the wall. Um, so my plan after this, uh, showing off the base and whatnot, yep. probably going to make the town just a bit smaller so I can uh, put the wall back together the way it was. It did have towers kind of like dunks, but they were full on walls. Um, they, there were doors to each of the hexagon towers. And there was a whole little walkway through the walls. And what that made for was an amazing um, shooter kind of uh, experience. Uh, five, ah. six of us would get together and we would uh, just kind of kill each other in the base. Right, right, right. I think one time I had like 24 dead bodies everywhere. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, or I can put that away if you need Help me. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, uh, the easiest way to make that change, usually when people build for the first time, if they build a wall, they'll put four wood walls to go up. The easiest way to make that change is when you can take that out and use the one large wood wall thing um, from S+. I'm sure you're probably already doing that, but then that, that saves you three structures. And oh, yeah. Gives you room, taller pillars rather than a bunch of short pillars, things like that. Definitely. Anytime you see something... Uh... Oh, there's some combat going on somewhere. Uh, back in the, like have, the, uh, yep. the I think so. Like we have something on the other side here. Let's see what's attacking us. Carl. Oh, uh, what? Oh, Carl now. <clears throat> and it's dead. Okay, good, 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 good. Cool. Um, this is a pretty awesome location. Um, uh, I guess I don't I don't know if I remember to show that off at Jendaya's place. I guess it doesn't matter as much. We were in the ocean, um, but coming back here to sh keep showing off Star's place, we're at fifty three point five forty point zero, and I took a little perch up here. Have we got most of the dinos back in place? We'll be ready to to pick up where we left off. Yeah, I think I think we're okay now. Um, any of the dinos that may not be in spot, it's not going to really kill anything. Well, we can. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm back down, and it's raining on us. Oh, perfect. Does it I, rain, I a, the... rain a lot here? Uh, it does. It does. Yeah. I think on the uh, entire server, actually. Um, but yeah, I think we're okay to continue here. This is one of my prized Ravagers. I've worked really hard to get the black with the white belly, and this is not a white belly, so I'm just kidding. I'm going to hide him. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a really high-level Ravager, so I use him for uh, breeding. But, um, so that was the tavern. Let me show you real quick before we continue the rest of the town, the, uh, the stables. Yes. Really, okay. Really love the stables. On my way up. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, red and forest? Uh, or yeah, no. uh, red. Brown. Mud. Mud. Yeah. Okay, okay. A little hard to tell. When the rain, the rain changes the whole color palette of things on me. Um, so yeah, little stables here. There's, um, I was talking to Cap about this. Cap, if you come around and check these out. This is that little sunken gate I was talking about that you could do for the entrance yeah. to your, your thing. Um, oh, okay. Only really comes up neat. to like waist high. I think I did that for the first time a while back and, and was so happy when I've, I've actually I actually learned that from a uh, cat. Oh, nice. nice. I, I got it from your videos and figured out how to do it. So. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There so we the, go. Word, the word spreads. Yeah, I did that when I have a little thing around. I'm bad with episode numbers, but around episode. No, I don't even want to guess, but there's an episode of um, Building Evolved with a little forest cabin with a, a green roof. Mushroom Toadstool House at yeah. Pearl Harbor. Right, right, right. So a few a few different little spots there, and uh, the adobe ones look really good when you do it this way, and so do the wood, and so does the... Actually, all of them look pretty darn good, um, but these ones look good in this scenario. Um, the little strings of light bulbs are nice, too. 
Yeah, um, we are breeding, um, and I say we, he can't be here right now and right now because he's actually in town with me. Um, my boyfriend, a uh, human being who helped me build the whole base. Mm -hmm. um, we're breeding uh, kangaroos and ravagers, as you can see. Uh, he just started his project, um, and I'm a little bit further along in mine. You can tell I've got each of these ravagers have a, a family name next to their name, and uh, I've done with stats so i'm doing color now so <laughs> right right so i see that with a, a little a secondary tag yeah so they needed a big spot um and i think these stables did great it looks really cool um you got the uh whole mountain and waterfall feel behind it so it kind of once again gives that kind of that white run feel in skyrim yeah the um the mountain, I mean, obviously the rain is messing it up, but it means that, like, at the very beginning of the day, it takes you a while to get sun, probably, right? So, yeah, it east? does. It yeah. gives it that feel, though. So the sun, okay the sun's going to rise behind the mountains, and then sometime around whatever the heck it is now, 11 a.m., the sun's going to come over the top of those mountains and bathe the whole place in light, assuming we didn't have terrible weather. Um, and then farming <laughs> dinos over here, these ones you're breeding or just storing? Uh, I see Just one storing. Donate. Okay. Uh, Therizino could not fit in here. Um, it's a little too short for it, but um, that's okay. Right on. All um, right, so that is the stables. Beautiful. And we can come right back down here, and uh, we'll kind of start where we were. Right at the were. center corner? Yep. Beautiful. And I will show you the um, these shops right here. So we've got our art supplies, which is our paints. And, of course, we have another employee in here ready to welcome you. Oh, hello, sir. <laughs> yep, the pink hat should be in the color yep. shop. He should have a little bit of vibrant flair to him. Um, yeah. I like the gerb painting. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's not a that's not a pic in-game picture, right? That's a... No, okay. these are with our mods. Um, you can do it with no mods. Uh, you just need the program to convert it into yep. the proper uh, file. So anyone can really do this. And um, alternatively, you can use the, the in-game camera, take a picture, and turn yep. that into a, a wall painting. Although, That's correct. regular arc doesn't... Does regular arc have canvases this size? Or are these modded? Yeah, it does. No, uh, those, those are, are modded. modded. Okay. The, um, uh, the regular canvases are about, I would say, one-fourth the size mm -hmm. of one of these. Quite teeny. And Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so before we had the modded ones, people would kind of collage the other ones together. But that doesn't really work if you're trying to use the uh, the art camera. Correct. All right. uh, we have the um, the bakery here, which I kind of uh, this is actually my kibble shop, but unfortunately there's not a kibble shop uh, sign. No. Nope. So I thought the bakery would do okay. <laughs> All right. Now this got guy, a baker here. No cap for him, but he's he's got his face. Is, he looks like he could be working with flour with all that white color on his face. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what a proper hat would be for a baker. There really isn't one. I really wish they had a, um, um, uh, a chef hat. That'd be cute. When I played uh, Islands, I got really into de uh, dressing up myself for the different builds I did. And there was no baker hat in that. But there they had this big toadstool hat. And I was able to paint all the colors of it white. So it basically looked like a big floppy baker hat. Um, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, you can paint a top hat white, can't you? Oh, that's that's a good idea too. Actually, I, guess I didn't that's think getting of that. There. Yeah, that's kind of close. Still not quite perfect. Uh, this is the armory. Mm -hmm. uh, our employee here is actually down at the uh, blacksmith right now, so makes sense. He's not man in this spot right now to get. And then, of course, last but not least, we got the goods, the general store. Got the goods. Buy all the general things you generally need. <laughs> Yep. No, I like it. I like the the fish. This th that particular station or cart, whatever it's called, stall, is one of the best looking ones. These apartments above the shop are accessible. They are not furnished, however, uh, due to some some limitations you may have uh, with the item number. But there are apartments up there, and they are really. Uh, I really like the uh, shop buildings. Um, this is actually a building that I took out of Elder Scrolls and kind of made it on here so yeah uh, they do exist in other games yeah no i get that i on, on the area that i'm building on building evolve that town it's like i know people would like to come and do the interiors for all my houses but i know that that's going to eat up walls that i could potentially right. use to build keep building the city so my buildings are going to be empty on the inside so that i can keep on building 
some of them are but it really it helps give that feel having more buildings in my opinion yeah um, and the important ones uh can be furnished like this one for example this is the blacksmith, blacksmith. totally obvious uh, what it is oh yeah i uh use this one a lot obviously for when i need to smelt my metal and here's here's our blacksmith right here and you've got uh, excuse me sloped roof going into a nice flat roof over top of it Oh, yeah. Uh, blacks. Okay, there you go, guys. Check out the hat possibilities. This guy's excellent. He looks like he should be holding <laughs> a musket. Amazing. We have his house furnished, however. Yep. Yep, a little kitchen. Yeah, a little sitting black. area. Bedroom. And a little paint. This is interesting. A little paint on the outer foundations. And then a little square here in the middle. Not it, it separates these as like little wings almost. Right. People jump and looking in the nope. windows. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you for not crowding the houses with us. I know it gets a little crowded in here, but um, yeah, no, this is lovely. I'll come right back out here. Uh huh. Ooh, I like and... this. The, I didn't notice it when we traveled through, but I like the the crossover between the 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 shops. Um, oh yeah, yeah. The little oh lagged uh, with the archway. And the that reminds me of um, Castle Black from Game of Thrones. Yeah, has those. those there kind of walk is around. some uh, Game of Thrones inspiration here too, mostly in the castle. You mm -hmm. guys will see that in a little bit. Um, Bears. Simple little, simple little uh, run through here, uh, just you know to unload items that I just farmed. So that's all this is actually. And these guys have the polar bear coloring. Yeah, um, my, I think. Who cooked me up with my 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 white bit, my white bear? I can't remember now. Dusty gave me a couple bears. I think maybe Mux gave me a bear too, but I can't remember. Yeah. They're 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 basically super bears. If you guys see the levels on these, they're all seven eight hundred. Um, uh yeah, and um, these guys have fourteen thousand weight, so definitely super bears. Yep. And they can take down almost anything but a giga. And it's not much. it's not like they're sacrificing in health or stamina in order to have that. Or damage. Yeah. The d melee damage is a thousand. The health is ten thousand, almost eleven. Stamina is six and a half. So, and you yeah, never these... need to feed these. Feed them once they live for a year. I bet you. These guys are really good. Um, we actually took um all of these and a a, a UD and a um Daedon to a Alpha Brute Mother, and they just tore her up. So they're really good. Yeah, boss fights, certain no, situation. No, we did the island boss fights with super bears, and it was we it was too easy. Yeah. <laughs> to, whatever you're allowed to bring, twenty super bears. There's not much that can stand up against that. Pretty much. We've um, got the I bank like, right here. I like that your color scheme changes a bit from area to area, building to building. Uh, it's important to note for people. I noticed it when I'm standing up on the cliffs. This main central thing is painted in slate or black, I, I don't know which. And then so are the oh, roofs black. on a few of these buildings. So when you stand up there, it kind of like makes the place feel like it has districts or, or I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of going for that feel. Um, I also wanted to brighten some of these buildings up, of course. Um, um, the stained glass door looks awesome. Try to make the bank look kind of nice. You know, it's uh, usually where riches are held and whatnot. Not the most... Um, security wise build but hmm. down there you've got the dedicated storage that's and a lot of dedicated storage oh my <laughs> wait, god wait till we you can see do that. place <laughs> that is so resource intensive right ned has like 40 something of them yeah it's crazy how do you do that <laughs> it's the, the tech stuff i totally forgot uh, yeah, definitely tech stuff. I um, believe you need to defeat the Broodmother or at least one of the uh, bosses, and then you can unlock them. I'm going to come out here. Now, the way that dedicated storage works, remind me, it has like an intake where you walk up with the creature and hit it, and it'll just auto-sort it into all those containers. Is that how that works? That's correct, and that's where that uh, that's yeah. going to be placed next to the bears. That's why oh, that oh. overpass right there is going to be. I haven't created it yet. I've been okay. kind of slacking. But oh, that's cool. That's where that's going to go. No, that's neat. And so basically you just walk up to the bear, you attack it so once, handy. it empties your inventory, and it sorts it. Kind of yep, like... Yep, and... Yeah. You can do it too. Uh, anything that has anything on it can do it. Um, you just want to not place it next to the teleporter because it'll do it to uh, other tribe members too, so... <laughs> Ooh, okay. We, we learned that one through Ned. That was kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, that's the bank. Can you can see you check out the view from this gate. Oh, yes. I noticed that at Dunk's place, that, that back gate, you opened it up, and I was like, oh, this perfectly lines up with the river. 
Yeah. Flew out of your base. Yep. That's so pretty. Green This whole area is really. This is the. I think they call this the Hydana, right? Is that what it says? Hi, hi. Late. Okay. Oh, Hina, Don. So uh, the 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 region's Hydana, H I D N A. Oh yeah, Hydana. Um, but then the area that you're in, it crosses over right here. It's called Lake Vogue, or Lake. I don't know how you pronounce that, but the region changes on me right here. So Lake Vogues, Vogues. It's a really pretty area, but it is Giga Country, and apparently we had a Giga last night and it couldn't log on. So I'm glad people were able to defend bases here. Very nice. Yeah. Um, this is a great way to do it, by the way. I know we've got people uh, tagging along, but we keep the voice chat from getting too crowded. I, I think this is the way we'll do it going forward. So as we're doing base tours, feel free to join us on the tours. If you're a geek, tag along, and then we'll just keep voice chat for the folks who have bases on that day. And let uh, whoever's place we're at do the talking. Speaking of, I should shut up and let you talk. Oh, it's not a problem. <laughs> yeah. um, this is the barrack. This is where you can train, you know, hit the dummies and okay. do what yeah. you need to do to see what kind of damage you're doing. There, there you go. Not bad. This is another faux building, however. Um, it is not decorated. I really wanted to decorate this one, so I had a place to put on my armor and whatnot. Um, but I totally fine. The building still looks really cool. This was a building created by a uh, human being, which is uh, my boyfriend who helped me create this wonderful town. It's interesting that you've hit hit the limit. Like uh I know because you haven't gone too crazy on the interiors. Like it's not like you have bottles and mugs and all that kind of stuff on I'm every table. I'm not sure if it's a bug or not because when we first hit it, um it, it starts in an area. It starts and then it kind of spreads out like the black leg. <laughs> but um right. I've, it's I've kind never of weird because... personally hit it, but I think I will on the new building evolved. Like I have the whole town built. It might be higher oh, on yeah. that server because that's a creative building server. The the limit right. might be changed, but I have I'll have to hit it at some point. It's gonna happen. It it's um I'm not sure what's going on there because um we did go back and that's when we made changes to the wall. We took off all the railing on the wall and everything and we still hit it. So something else is going on. Or we're just using something that uh is giving us a really high count, but um nonetheless totally fine well you're doing uh, you're, you're doing the like you know for people watching normally in vanilla these have to be four individual walls here an s plus right. large wood wall oh perfect um so that basically replace that saves you three building pieces so every time you do something like that you should get them back but i don't know how that that sort of mechanism works in arc whether it whether it properly counts once you've hit it or uh, like you said it spreads like the black plague i don't know how it works but um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> this is why I have you know, Dusty honestly, and Rally for questions like this. It's it's fine because um, you know uh, building this big, um, having all the decorations could definitely um, lag some of our other uh, patrons out. And the reason why you're not really probably lagging here is because there's really no S plus blast. Unfortunately, S plus blast does tend to lag people. But yes. this is all um, simple stone wood, mostly. Yeah, uh, this is the most glass I think we have right here, honestly. And this is the greenhouse. Simple build. Yep. Well, and it's not as though you got into your town and couldn't add all the buildings you needed. Like I can't wait. I see there's a church with a cemetery up ahead. Like you have, you have the, <laughs> yeah. you have the key building. Little Valentine snail. Oh, yep. And the view once again when you just look up is just you feel like you're in White Run. I love it. I mean, Ragnarok's so good. It is so good like i've been back on the center this week and there's things about it that are great but there's things about it where you go like god there's like once i've been here nothing will compare i know i was on the center last night and it scared me it's so other otherworldly on that map i mm -hmm. came to this part of the map where there was this endless waterfall and i was like oh uh, yes. man, i feel like i'm at the end of the world that's where i started that series and the only problem with it it's beautiful there the only there's two problems with it one the sound of that waterfall gets to you yeah. It's just a constant whooshing noise. Um, uh, <laughs> um, but yes. Uh, and, and then the other one is that you have the Redwoods Bridge that goes over top. And behind you, uh -huh. you, you have the waterfalls. So you get sunlight from like 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then you get no sunlight again till like 8 p.m. And then you only get it from like 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. And then the sun's gone. 
So it's a, yeah. it's a little bit frustrating. Like I, I, it's good that I played that on a creative server and built there where I could change time of day anytime I wanted. Um, right. Otherwise that would get to you. Um, here, like I mentioned, the sun might take the morning to get to you, but then you have a wide open sky all the way until sunset, basically. Oh yeah, um, definitely. Down to, really the, down to the uh, Ovis over here next? Um, actually, right here, uh, the barbershop. Oh, I thought we did this building. That's my bad. Okay. Oh, no, not a problem. Oh, yeah. Got our barber, Rufus. Yep. Your haircut. There's actually scissors in it, I, I believe. I really want, um, from that wardrobe skin, I really want a f afro skin that I can put on my Jerboa. <laughs> I, I need that. He's got this little cute musketeer hat for now, but when anytime you have an afro, <laughs> shoulder pets kind of get, they get absorbed in it. But uh, yeah, if he could have an afro too, that would be amazing. So whoever makes that mod, if you end up seeing our video, we love your we love your mod. Obviously, check out Star's outfit, and uh, <laughs> and just give us a little afro for pets. I think that would be great. See a snail with an afro. Oh yeah, that would be adorable. I don't know how um, it would work. It would go on the shell. It would look pretty freaky. <laughs> I, yeah, it kind of would. All right. This is just his simple little house. For, uh, for the shepherd. Here. Yep, for the shepherd. And you keep just a couple. That's probably all you need with the way S Plus can automate things. Most people are uh, usually have enough pelt. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And More than enough. Little little color mutation on this guy. Yeah. And then an all white one. I like that too. It looks like they have makeup on. Yeah. Really. <laughs> they have such pretty eyes too, right? Yeah. They're uh it's funny because I I had some I had aberrant ones uh from the Easter event and they were like really bright pink and blue though, so they didn't really go with the place that much, but um some of them have like three hundred and thirty one melee damage. It's like what are you gonna do with that? <laughs> yep. Dodo Wars. Uh, right. 95 likes and counting and 79 people watching live. Hit that 100 likes for us, guys. That usually means we're getting close to 1,000 views um, on the, the overall stream. Probably not quite, but get, getting up there. Um, and the then church. The church. Yes. Um, so we'll go to the church first. Church this is, is church always a... of Joba. Jabora. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got uh got Father Chewy over here giving his little sermon thing. Yep, preaching. Yep, preaching it out. And we have one of these, uh, like Jendaya said, um, can't really make these anymore. The piano. We got our. Oh, so they're here, and, our... and if you pick it up, you'll never get it back. Uh, oh, you, you can pick it up. Oh, okay. You just can't craft it. Right. Um, got our... a very modded. For a second, based on the colors, I was like, oh, that's a feather light, but no, that's a micro raptor, right? Yep, uh, Easter Micro Raptor. He's uh, playing the piano for everyone. Wowzers, right? He's perfect for that. Got those little dangly fingers. He looks like he should be. Uh... And then, just I want to show people, Jerboas, for a while, it was really tough to breed them, I think, because they start level one and such low health. But we have now got people breeding Jerboas in every size, shape, not size, every color. Um, oh yeah, that's that's my guy that Leo Wolf gave me uh, last weekend on the stream when I was building my little desert hideout, um, and then yeah, we got red and white, blue and tan, pink and white, and a little blue and tan over here, and then a little cyan on, and red on the otters. This guy's got a dozen colors on him. The the preacher. <gasps> oh yeah, look at that blue He's and white. Look at the hat on the otter. If the, <laughs> if the blue and white one's not there when you get back, it might have. <laughs> just left. I, I can make you one. There's, uh, that's a breeding pair. There's two or three with if you're looking at the gerbs that are have blue and white. So yeah. Also the empty canvases are make me twitch. <laughs> yeah. I wanna paint them all. I love There's only one things. I only noticed a couple of empty canvases. Goods shop or something like that. There wasn't a lot. Yeah, they were supposed to. I was actually trying to find you know, it's really hard to find olden day signs for whatever reason on <sighs> Google. I have no idea why. Mm -hmm. Um something I wanna show your viewers. Yeah, Tonka's the guy to contact. He's done some. Oh go ones. go for it. There you something go. really neat is to make these right here. These are actually doors. But okay. they look like long windows. And, yeah, they uh, do. 
those are really good for this style. Yeah, and if that, you, that's really awesome. If you stack a door on top of a window, you can get a really good look too, because the window sits oh, yeah. very high in a window frame. Um, but for a church, this is beautiful. This is a great, this is a great song to be playing. It's got a little Bob Ross voiceover in the middle of it. <laughs> But yeah, this is the church, and this is actually just a glorified uh, shoulder oh, yeah. pad pin. And uh, the cemetery. Can we peek at that? Absolutely. Cemetery is a little near and dear to my heart. These Got, are um, for real creatures? That these are real creatures. Great. Yeah, that I lost. Um, and you rocks over here passed out, I noticed. <laughs> painted these gravestones, right? I did, I did. I um, washed them up and made them look nice for the video. I like it. <laughs> a little bit of light hiding down here too is really subtle. I bet the cemetery looks good at night. Just oh a, yeah. Just enough light with the lamp post and that one little hidden light, two little hidden lights, whatever they are along the fence. People have come and added their own thing on the uh, on these um, uh, graves, which I think would be cool to have a community uh, cemetery. But uh, this was from the battle that we had. A lot of dead bodies were everywhere. It is a uh, about a fifty fifty in the art community of people who. People who will mourn the loss of a creature and people who will go, no, I'm fine. Just give me a new one. Um, <laughs> it's a, it's about a half and half. So, so like, I know I asked, uh, asked people in my early days of ARC when I was playing on my first multiplayer server with some other YouTubers, um, I had uh, SW Chris who would do that. And he had a little memorial spot for his creatures. And I asked Monkey Puzzle about it one day. I'm like, what do you think of that? He's like, oh, I think it's silly. I don't, I don't understand it. <laughs> So it's like, you know, it's like a 50 50 people. Some people get it and want to have a little memorial and um, but yeah, a little community one wouldn't be too bad. We could do that at one of the CCs, I think. And I bet if you had yeah. more than just this little hill, like you picked a really good spot to, to park, park your cemetery. I uh, moved this. Yeah, uh, it's great. I, I moved this church at least three different times. It was underneath the uh, cliff over there, the platform cliffs. Right. But um, this just seemed too right because, you know, I, I'm very like I love RPGs. I love RPGs and the towns they create. And really, I feel like, you know, you're about to leave the town and then you look over and there's the church there with the cemetery. And then you've got, you know, some sort of stable right next to an exit. So we've got this guy over here. And sometimes you got the blacksmith right at the entrance. So I was really, really trying to follow kind of what traditional uh, towns do. So that's why the church just seemed perfect. Amazing. Um, um, I and, so appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, it, it, I, I spend my time a lot in this kind of game. Got one more thing to show before the castle, and that's just the simple dock here. Um, not a lot has been done to the dock, however, uh, but it is, you know, got to have the dock for the RPG. Oh, town. nice. I didn't realize that these gates were going to lead us out onto something, but you're right on whatever it is. Lake, I don't know how they want us to pronounce it. V-O-G-E-S. Vogues. The Vogue. guy's stuck. Vogue. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, I have been working oh, on... I've been building docks lately too, and these these advanced rafts ships are amazing. Um, I did this cog, and I, I set up the deck of it with a bunch of barrels and stuff. I used the preserving barrel and the, Thank you guys. Um, and, the and the little storage barrels and a couple. I don't think you can do beer barrels without foundations, but I filled the bow of right. that ship with barrels, and it just looks perfect. Um, the dinghy right there, I like how you laddered down to it, and I didn't use these. These docks that we're standing on, guys, are from advanced rafts. And the supports go something like 12 walls down. Is that right? Very yeah. far down. They're Very really, down. really nice. And, um, and once again, you just have that view around, you know, little waterfalls. And, and I like I like how the land, like you can see the, the elevation change of the land. It almost like in circle, you know, it goes up, starts on the right, goes up, and then comes back down. Yeah. Uh, and I guess you probably get herds of Brontos, right? I like that about Ragnarok because yeah. the Brontos group up. That's kind of funny over there. It looks like the Brontos with its little baby Bronto. That's just another type of dinosaur. Yeah, yeah. yeah totally. Um, we broke 100. Uh, oh, so, there we go. 100 likes and counting. Thank you, baby girl. Nice. Uh, another faux building. However, you know, just kind of gives that feel. It's uh, kind of like the uh, shop that I created over there. It's, I um, totally understand doing that. Um, I know it would be nice to decorate them all, but I totally, for me, I would rather have two or three buildings like that extra yeah. than decorating the inside of one and, and given you know like if you're building anything that resembles a city or a town you need the you need this the building spam sometimes exactly and last but not least the castle i will show you the castle now the castle has a little bit of a different feel to it um as it was mainly created uh by my boyfriend and i kind of think it has like a steampunk feel to it honestly i've never seen these um 
specific materials put together and work. So this will be interesting to show you. I am coming behind you. My playlist ended. I had to give it another little kick in the butt oh, yeah. to get restarted. No problem. Um, I like the banners on either side. Uh, I know most people didn't look at it from up above, but when you're standing up there and you look at the castle, those banners uh, stand out as like they're very good. they're important to the look of the castle. They frame in the gateway. Thank make it, you. Make it we, obvious. Uh, what's... We worked hard to get these banners. These are, I believe these are Alf. Uh, no, we did not do Alf the Rockwell yet, but these right. are um, banners from uh, defeating the bosses. You don't just get these banners, guys. You got to go kick some Rockwell butt. <laughs> right. Come back with your trophies. <laughs> I got one of these banners somewhere. I probably have lost it. I haven't put it in a good spot since my one Rockwell adventure. And yeah, what, I got what's the other one. Uh, broom of this. Um, that, that one's the dragon. That okay. one's, uh, we're working on Alpha Dragon. We. Walked in there with big egos after we destroyed Alpha Broodmother with bears, and uh, we uh, got completely wiped. We lost, um, I think, eighteen super bears. That was a really big punch to the. Um, but but succeeded in your tummy. victory. Uh, yes, yes, we went back and did a little bit. Uh, I think we did uh, gamma, uh, so it's beta, gamma, alpha. Uh, but we will be going back and getting him from alpha. Okay, a lot of prep that's oh. involved in making those boss battles happen, guys. People have to prep goods they got to go find all the stuff that you need to summon the bosses so it's not something really cool a little yeah. tip uh for viewers and whatnot and um i think a few of us kind of improved on this this is uh you know um how do you say a brazier a... yeah uh and what it is is if you have s plus this is uh and of course the garden deco it's the flower pot with the um, campfire on top. However, if you don't want to burn all all your you know wood, mm -hmm. you just put a uh, S plus torch in there. Somewhere. Right, I have totally done and, that. It's a great yeah. look. Um, and actually, these are what it looks like turned on, so you can't even tell that they're in Webby's they're... place. Um, he had done that as well. That way, twenty four hours a, not twenty four hours a day, but as soon as the lights go down, those torches come on, or you can set them to go all day long. Um, yeah. And they go without fuel. You can change the colors of them. So if you wanted some brightly colored flame, you can do that. And is this the same thing where you can switch it from wood to stone? No, you have to choose a wood, make a wood one or a stone one, right? Right, so, right. They don't have different skins. Um, and I think we're hitting your castle at the perfect time of day. Look at the way the sun's streaming in this back window. Oh, did, yeah. Did we not There's time this another... right? It's, yeah, this is a really good time of day. Another one would be when you walk in and you just see the full moon back behind there um, with Amazing. the trees barely covering the face. So. Right at the end of the nighttime. Now, this is what I was talking about. I have never seen metal with stone with greenhouse glass. Um, this room over here to your right was inspired by the Red Wedding. Anyone that watches Game of Thrones yep. may recognize it. At this point, that's not even a spoiler alert thing, I don't think. Right. If, if yeah, you've never seen Game of Thrones, we won't tell you what happens at the Red Wedding, but there's a Red Wedding and it's horrific. It's very red. <laughs> Se season 3, um, episode 9. I know it well. Well, there you go. Yeah. That is the yeah, Red Wedding. This would be Walder Frey sitting up here. Mm -hmm. His 12-year-old bride sitting beside him. Creepy old fool. Yes. <laughs> I like on the it. other side here this is um, re really interesting the combo of materials right yeah it's really interesting uh if you looked up you saw the uh greenhouse triangle glasses almost like oh. a uh, mosaic-ish kind of thing when you said greenhouse glass i thought you misspoke and we're talking about the stained glass but i see what you mean now yeah 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 it's yeah, got that greenish right. tinge to it and you guys have hidden some of your big i, see, I think that's the big whatchamacallit tech thing up there right uh, yes, but I did want to hide that because it didn't really fit into the town, obviously. Um, but I figured since he was already building this with metal and everything, it would fit just fine up there. It does. Uh, yep, we got we got Cap over here sitting in the Kings. Yep, this is, this is the two of you sit up here, you and human being. Um, I see doors hidden behind. Is there anything? Oh, uh, yeah. We will get to that in just okay. a second. Let me know um, open it then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yes, if you stand here just walking in, you won't be able to see the doors, and I'll show you why in a little bit. No, no, I um, didn't notice them until till I went and looked behind. Yeah, okay. they kind of blend in. It's very nice. We've got the kitchen here. Um, not your usual uh, hideaway castle kitchen, but um, very neat. Uh, I learned this also from Kat, um, and which I'm sure she learned from someone else. Uh, the pantry system here, you can... 
uh, I hid my fridges in them. She uh, decorated them, I think, with actual food. Anytime yeah. you are going for uh, a older feeling build, and obviously this has elements of both because of the metal, but anytime that right. you know a fridge would, would look wrong in the place you're building, you can right. hide it. <laughs> and with S plus doors, it's not even a hassle. You just walk up and they open, you get your access, you step back and they're hidden. Um, um, the inspiration, I'm so sorry, go ahead. I just, I love the grill. This. Oh, oh, thank you. That's fantastic. Sorry, keep talking. Oh, no. Um, I love doing these type of grills. Um, human being did the architecture. I did the actual decoration. So this part is is mine. Originally, my kitchen uh, inspiration did come from Cap. Cap does really good um, kitchens, right. as a lot of people have heard. And what I wanted to say was the metal. Uh, what we were thinking was it was a rarity back then. So having the castle covered with uh, metal aspects just feel, felt right. Yes, um, like, yeah, know, yeah. They, like, they could afford it. It wouldn't be in the whole town, but if it's only going right. to be in one place in town, this is it. I mentioned this at, at Cap's Place too, but it really helps when you're building, guys, to use your imagination to think about the people that live in the place you're building. If you're not just building a simple survival base, if you want to add the kind of flair that you've seen in every single tour we've done today, it's use your imagination. Start thinking about it. And then, oh, wow. you know, like the way you're thinking about it, you go, okay, well, the metal, there's a reason the metal's here. Why, you know, why is it? Okay, it's a show of wealth in some sense or a show of power. It's a, it's a rare exactly. resource and it's, you don't go too crazy with it. So it's a, it's a highlight. Um, Another thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm no, like I was really... going to ask you to keep going. That's all. Keep, keep going. Um, Another thing that you had inspired me to do, which I re-inspire everyone watching, is don't think that you have to use things that are pre-made. This, uh, yes. this um, cooktop over here, that's just uh, ceilings and half walls. So And a table can... coming in halfway through it, which actually yep. um, has a double benefit, because if you look down at the bottom, it provides this little bit of trim with that centerpiece of the table on the bottom. Exactly. On the bottom. And then this is like if you guys go to a Benihana or something, they would have a grill that looks like this. It's a flat top, right? Exactly. And the, the, way, the reason and the way that I started thinking that way is because I started off as a builder in Minecraft where you really had to think outside yeah. the box, right? And you had to go, well, I don't have what I need. Maybe I can use a ladder. I don't have what I need. Maybe I can use a fence post. Um, and then with Ark, we have this grill, but it does not right for every situation. It wouldn't look right here, right? Uh, right. That does. And just a little torch hidden in behind like you did before, that makes it look like it's it's burning and you get the glow of it, but you don't even see the flame coming up from, from outside. Definitely, uh, imagination uh, with this game is, there's no limit to it. You could really do a lot of things here. Um, like and a, we'll see more of that as we go through as well. Looks like a hood vent up there, the herbs on either side here, and then the yeah. pots and pans over the, over the, the cooker. That's why I like you. You, you pay attention to that detail that we work hard for. So <laughs> I'm try I'm trying. I'm probably miss about ninety percent of it, but I'll catch a few oh, things no, here. Oh no, you're hitting it all on. Another thing that doesn't quite go with the castle, however, it is hidden as well. But we all love them. Is the tech elevators? Oh yeah, yeah, they're a game changer. I just oh, been yeah. using them for the first time ever. So boom, and you're upstairs, and another thing hidden. You get your Jenny up here. Yep. This is where we hide all the electronical goodness of what we need. We've got the grinder, the uh, uh, fabricator, in case you don't feel like turning on the replicator and using um, element to make things. How about them glass glass triangles now, guys? Like it, yeah, it wasn't obvious glow. before, but now, I mean, it's they're slightly tinted, so the light that comes through, if you're standing on an angle, you're not just looking straight through it. They've got this kind of reflection to them, but if you stand right over, that mostly disappears. You can see down into the kitchen, the light comes up. I don't know. I like that a lot. Thank you. Appreciate and, it. And then all the crafting stuff hidden, advanced rafts, chemistry station, forge, uh, ship smithy, uh, one of the, and then a few of the eco uh, decor mods. Get your cooker, fabricator, and grinder, which, yeah, it's, it's nice to try and hide those. Yes, especially if they don't go with the time period or what you're, you know, really going for. Got a simple bridge connecting the two. The elevation change is key. Oh, yeah. You can see down there, I got my bulldog, my trusty bulldog next to my throne down there. And this here, guys, is uh, either a wall or a half wall, and then it's got this glass half wall, which is essentially, yep. there's no such thing as a glass railing, but we do have a glass half wall um, that cuts across, and that's a structures plus yeah, glass thing. It's pretty much the only S plus what it was. Glass. 
that I see in here. There's not a whole lot of S plus glass. That is, that is, I love S plus, uh, S plus glass. However, it does lag. Um, Use it sparingly. Um, and unless you're going to like Jendai's base, uh, hers is perfect size where you really don't even notice it. But um, you know, sometimes you just have all of these structures just made of glass and it can lag you out. Um, but that's why it was used sparingly here. I showed um, uh, off the uh, blueprint table earlier. I think was that at Dunk's place or Caps? I can't remember which. But then it, there's also this this lit up blueprint board with the long neck on it. It's awesome looking. I like the light from it. I really like the the candles. Uh, and this is really cool because now it's becoming night again. Um, but you can really see the candle lighting. Uh, I'm really big on the the warmth of the lighting. We've managed uh, a good day-night cycle at pretty much everybody's place. The only thing that happened is once we got to yours, we had to wait a little bit to start at the beginning yeah. of the day. But for the most part, it's worked out perfectly. Everybody's We've got to see their places in daylight and at either dusk or dawn. Now we have um, another set of uh, these elevators here. There is, it is as well on the other side. Um, but we up? go up. Ooh. Yep. Got a beautiful view here of what's behind the base. We got our little, our long necks over there, just roaming around. That's we got the moon over there. Gamma for people. Once yep. again, that wonderful uh, uh, RPG, like um, <sighs> Iron Phil. I really love it. I actually listened to the soundtrack. Don't think beats too nerd but i love the soundtrack too that really helped me get inspiration as well we should hit the throne room real quick just while that moon is in that position oh you had yeah, mentioned yeah. It earlier yes uh, actually we, let's we, do that we can zip back up after uh get through here and go through uh-huh uh, uh -huh. Where was it? Oh, right here. Here. <laughs> i'm standing on it and, and if you through. stand right here um yep can give you that moon kind of well, shimmering through. I'm glad we went when we did. It's almost too late, but you can kind of see it there. It used to show very vibrant, um, and then I put all the the candles in here. Uh, but it's 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 really just neat to kind of just see that that it, that's back there. Kind of just gives you a whole another sense of uh, um, being a king or a queen, having that right there behind you. Absolutely. That's why picking the east-west axis for the, as opposed to north-south for some buildings is really important. Um, should we go Absolutely. back up? Had, had I rushed yet? Was there more to see up there? Oh, no. Uh, there's just a smidge more up there. And then okay. I'm going to show you what that door was behind the throne. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, and right here, this is just the uh, war planning room. Uh, nice. This one is definitely for looks. Uh, we've got our maps. This is um, another structure that was made of ceilings and walls and whatnot. It's a gigantic table. Mm -hmm. And this is the S plus glass, guys, where you can it you is. can change the... I'm just going to mess with it ever so slightly here. Where you can change it and pick what, what edges show. Uh, and so you can choose just to have the outside edges. Um, two sides. B? No. A. No. Which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> wait how wait corner be the corner corner, corner. Yeah, yeah i was looking at the two siders there we go corner b i was afraid that i switched it and i didn't have the option to go back to the right one. Oh no um so yeah this is another way of doing things differently guys a lot of people would do their war room and they would use there's actually an item called like a war table that has maps on it this version is <laughs> just a little different you went and decorated it with maps all of rag um i like it is Ragnarok map ever going to get updated cause to include some of the desert areas, or is it just going to stay know. looking like that? Seems it it feels so like not. only part of that is dunes, right? A lot, right. large part of that is hills and mountains and stuff. But the map's done. They're working on a new map, those guys, so we might be stuck with this map forever. <laughs> we got some of the metal shining through here, just kind of reiterate the uh, wealth that the king and queen here may have. Uh -huh. um, and another view, a uh, balcony on either side. Right, right. Let me see it. Uh, that side is very pretty. Uh, you can see the waterfall, and um, I like to come up here and make sure I don't see any gigas. Oh, yeah, look at that morning glow of the waterfall. Yeah, this is a good spot to scout. And you said there was one opposite? Uh, yep, there is one opposite. I love my views. I feel you. And then, of course, you can see uh, the town over here on this balcony. Um, but as you can tell, there are two more floors, but there's no way to get to them. From okay. So, 
back to what you found behind. Let's go ahead and head back to Thren real quick, and that will uh, wrap up the um, tour here. Okay, beautiful. And that'll so, wrap up our stream, too. This is the last tour on the stream. Anybody else will be waiting for for next week. 78103. Uh, okay, 103 likes and counting, guys. Keep them, keep them rolling and 78 watching live. My count is still accurate. I think Cap. Right. I think Cap hit the record. I think we hit 95 with Cap, and, and we get, came very close. Where uh, at Jen's place? I think we got up into the 93, something like that. This one you'll have to manually open. Manually open. Right. Um, Here, I'll, I'll zip in there, guys. Here, and uh, this is just a little kind of like crawl space underneath the castle, but the uh, once again, exactly. We've got these uh, tech elevators kind of hiding here. You ah. can jump up. Uh huh. Sweet. Private yeah. quarters. Exactly. If you this want is up where here, you better know. Blast. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, bedroom back here. Uh, a human being is passed out there, apparently with no pants on. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> this is his house. I mean, where the. You should be right. allowed to be naked in here. Let it fly. Wonderful views from all the all around. Yep, I see your griff floating out here on a little platform. And you said not only is this level inaccessible any other way, but so is the one under us, right? Right. Rip. Yep, this is the uh, his and her royal bathroom. Oh, dang, it's grand in here. This is like Mr. Burns. Uh, you have a person... Oh, you have a couple people. I didn't realize people had gotten in here already. <laughs> I see they're making themselves at home. I, I, th for, I, I came up at first in the way that Tonka's head was. He was completely underwater. I'm like, God, somebody know, died in your bathtub. <laughs> Both of them. I guess they got little <laughs> short characters or something. My character sticks yeah. way out. No, mine did too. I don't know what happened. That's better. Oh. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. That's better. No, you guys were like drowning in there. Scary. Uh, this is another thing that you can make, um, you know, a shower, a walk-in glass shower. Yep. And if you didn't have this, uh, if you guys were building in, in vanilla, you could use greenhouse glass for this, and you could use a little water uh, faucet spout thing, whatever it's called. What is that called? What is the word for that in the game? Um, tap. Oh, tap. Tap, thank yep. you. And then, of course, we've got our... our um, our Mercedes parked on either side, or Griffin. Right, right. This is Griffin. This is great Griffin country. Okay. Oh, I need a Griffin. I, like I know they spawn not crazy far from here. I don't know if they spawn right here, but um, but if you're exploring this area, this is a great place to go. Oh, definitely. We found a 180 the other day, and thus a uh, human being has a Griffin now. Beautiful. So we got Lionheart and Elysium up here. But uh, yeah, that is the okay. tour. Well, let's find a spot to do a little outro. Maybe we'll back up and look at the castle from a distance. Sure. I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just hop off a balcony or something, I think. Yep, you can do that. We do that all the time. Okay, let me do it. You got to do your running start. <laughs> oh, you can't jump on these. That's why, too. Right. Yeah, they're uh, um, fences, basically. And no, but if you're standing on the tech elevator and you jump and there's nothing above you, you don't actually jump, right? Right, right. So I was like, hold on, my jump be broken. <laughs> I, I, I glided to the perfect location, I think. Yeah, you did. I see that. <laughs> yep. Okay, guys. Well, I think uh, I think that wraps us up for today. Uh, what I will say, I still see Dynamic D in chat. Uh, if you guys click that link of his, uh, Pego Studios, in the description, he's going to have a stream later today that I will be in. Um, and it'll be from that Building Evolved world. So I'm going to make a little teaser for the new series of it, and I'll put that out today. And then the first episodes will be out Monday and Tuesday. Um, I should mention that since you're all watching now. Um, same thing I always say at the end of streams. Thank you to G Portal Servers. Link in the description for them. If you need a server of your own, they sponsor this whole community. With the amount of people we have and the amount that they're building... It's pretty remarkably stable, um, especially with Ark. Ark is so much better than any other game for running a server. We're lucky that this is the game we all fell in love with, I think. Um, yeah, and thank all of you guys for the tours. Um, if you're watching the replay, this was um, uh, Star's Place. I'll link you to some of the other tours we were doing today. Uh, we did. Uh, uh, we started at Dunks the Valley, or sorry, at Caps. Uh, what do we call it? Forest Party House. 
Uh, then we went to Dunks the Valley, we went to Jendaya's uh, Haven, and we finished here at Starshine's Crystal Waters Vale. Um, Starshine and Human Beings, Crystal Waters Vale, and Tonka was in on Haven. Um, so if I can, I'll link everything all at the end of the other ones, etc. I'll, I'll make, make it all work. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you. Um, if, yeah, if you have any, yeah, you can just say bye, I guess. I don't know. I know I throw it to you guys. You never know whether to talk. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Popping up on the screen, links to the other stuff, links to a Patreon logo if you want to join these guys and become a part of this world. That's my last thank you. Uh, thank you to my moderators, who are all patrons, and thank you to my patrons. Uh, you guys are amazing. I, I'm living my dream and, and, and hopefully making this the best place in the world to play ARK, um, and, and we'll just keep, keep making it better. Um, but yeah, that does it for the stream, guys. Thank you, and, uh, and we will see you uh, with all of these stream replays out tomorrow.